ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Web TV. My name is Umeri Tobias. Of course, last time we looked at validation rules and validation text, but today I want us to look at uh, sorting data in the table. So first thing you have, you open your table. As you can see, these, uh, these plus symbols means that these tables have a relationship. And we'll be looking at it in different cases. For example, we want to sort these from smallest to largest, you can do that. Uh, you want to sort first name from A to Z or from Z to A, you can do that. You just click on the drop down and be able to implement uh, whichever thing that you want it to be done. And it is quite, quite easy uh, for you to do that, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, uh, uh, today I'll also be, be able to touch on queries just shortly. Uh, uh, but just letting queries to be a different lesson, I will be able to just uh, teach you something uh, more on the lookup. Uh, uh, I, will, I will now try to implement something here. Just go to uh, design view. Now, suppose I want to add another here, another thing here. Some uh, are on the list, maybe uh, on the visitors table, and uh, maybe room, uh, room for the visitor, and and I want this to be a selection. So I will want to select here on VLOOKUP wizard, and it will take me here, and I will say I will type the values, then. Uh, once I say I'll type the values, maybe the number of columns, of course, uh, here is one. But uh, I have so many of them, I can make it two or so on and so forth. Now, uh, I'll start typing my value. Maybe uh, this room one is, uh, uh, let's say, Maasai. Maybe room two is uh, Coop. Three is Nairobi. Room four is New York. New York and room three is Bay. Room six is uh, York. Well, and like that, I can be able to move forward and select the value fields this column one and column two you can say column one and what label would you like for your lookup field and the labels room and a uh, limit to list and allow multiple values allows the user to choose more than one value the room of course we want them to select one so We'll finish now if you go back here to the uh, to the data sheet view of course you will be able to see that there is an option of room added and from here the users are only allowed to choose uh, at least one and you cannot type in yours for example Mombasa you can't type in yours until it uh, it is in the list so the text you entered isn't item in the list so do you want to edit the items in the list and you can say no unless you want to edit them then here you can only choose the values from the list and that is how it works ladies and gentlemen uh, so if we go with column be able to work out that until you fill the table so up to there that ladies and gentlemen next time we'll be looking at um, a query design and queries uh, ladies and gentlemen in our lesson five that is up to for now my name is Mary Tobias please share and subscribe this channel my name is Mary